guys, today we are at Don Wagyu to try three different katsu sandos at three different price points. They range from $20 to $180. I'm gonna go in blindly, try out all three different sandwiches and guess which one is the most expensive and which one is the least expensive. And hopefully after I try all three, I'll be able to tell you what I think is the best bang for your buck. Yeah, I think that if you ordered all three side by side and you tried all three, you would know the difference between all three. I don't know, man. Don Wagyu specializes in katsu sandos. Um, so it's a fried sandwich and we do Wagyu beef. The beef that most people are used to having you know, from the grocery store uh, compared to something like the Wagyu beef that we bring in from Japan, um, it's, you can't really compare the two. A lot of customers when they come in they want to know what's the difference between the three sandwiches. You know, why would I pay that much more for the Ozaki or that much more for the Miyazaki? And I usually have to say you need to see it to believe it. Uh, the most common sandwich that's ordered is the American Washugu. It's a dry-aged American Wagyu, so it's a crossbreed between uh, Black Angus and the Japanese cow, uh, the Ajima cow. The Washugu is more of like a classic steak in appearance. My favorite sandwich is the Miyazaki. I like the Miyazaki because it's, it's got everything that you want to get from the Japanese Wagyu, but also the meat is just, it's really beefy and the flavor is very clear. The Miyazaki Sando um, comes from an area called Miyazaki. The Miyazaki beef uh, is one of the largest producers in Japan of Wagyu beef. Um, the Ozaki sandwich is very special to us because we are the uh, only place here in the U.S. that receives the Ozaki beef. Um, it comes from a very small farm. The farmer's name is Ozaki. His cattle have a feed that we don't completely know everything that goes into it, um, but it's a lot of like sake leaves, uh, olives, beer mash, um, very, very rich, rich foods. Uh, and the cows are also left to mature for an additional eight to 12 months longer uh, than the normal Wagyu in Miyazaki. The Ozaki Sando has a real intense richness uh, that we kind of compare to like a bone marrow flavor. I don't know which one is which, but I think I'll be able to tell just by looking at it. This one I know is not the Washugu because I see quite a bit of marbling. This one I think is the Washugu. I think it has the least amount of fat and marble. And now I think this is the part where I'm going to have the most difficulty discerning which one's which. But I think if I look super duper closely, this is the Ozaki and this is the Miyazaki. My initial thoughts, I think this is the Washugyu, that's $28. The Miyazaki, which is $80. And the Ozaki at a whopping $180. Can I please eat now? <laughs> I 
I think this probably will have the most chewiness to it. So I'm gonna stick with my original guess and say that this is a washugu. It tastes like a steak sandwich, but also like so much more elevated because it's still it's still wagyu. It has like some kind of texture and chewiness to it, but it's still like super fatty and juicy. When you chew, it just like almost kind of starts disintegrating in, and like melting in your mouth. I think this is the Miyazaki because I'm expecting the Ozaki to be like total melt in your mouth the first bite. And this was like 50% there. I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't excited about this. I know that it's $180. And so 180 divided by four, what is that? 45. Yes, $45. $45 for this one square. I wanted to be able to tell you that $180 for a Casa Sando is ridiculous, but I'm telling you, if you are in my position and you like have a bite, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Texturally, I want to say that it's like, it's not even like steak because steak like has some give to it. This one is just like chewing into like a very tender piece of salmon in your mouth as you're chewing. It's just the fat, the marbling is just coating your whole mouth. It's like silk going down your throat. This is definitely the $180 sandwich. There's no doubt about it. If I were to come back, the Miyazaki is the one that I would probably order just because it's right in the middle. It's still a little pricey, but, but it's Wagyu. It's A5 Wagyu. You're getting like the creme de la creme of steak, of beef. And the, the Ozaki is a little too much for me. It's just a little too extra. American Washugyu, equally delicious. Just, it's $28 and I think if I had the money, I would save up and spend it on the $80 sandwich.